what is up fpg fam welcome back to the channel so this is going to be a relatively short video but we have some information on aether gazer that just dropped and a massive shout out to my good friend cameo for bringing this to my attention so apparently on the official website for aether gazer they had a countdown and apparently that countdown expired and now we have a brand new countdown where it says 28 days and 23 hours and you can pre-register for this game so this is just in case you're unaware a game that has a cn version and it's very similar to like punishing gray raven or honkai impact third an arpg i'll probably have some gameplay playing for you right now but this game has a cn version and now it has a global version being published by the developers yostar if i'm not mistaken and now we have a countdown here to 28 days and 23 hours with the ability to pre-register leading me to assume that this is possibly the countdown to a global release once again no confirmation on that because it doesn't state specifically as well as it doesn't state on their official twitter page which i'll leave linked in the description down below as well as a link to their website in the description down below so you can pre-register for this game because this game does look absolutely fantastic it has some unique mechanics and the art style is incredible as well once again if you're a fan of punishing great raven and a fan of honkai impact third i think you're going to be a fan of aether gazer this game looks incredible and i'm actually excited for this title i know i haven't been really covering it i mentioned it once before on the channel but as we get closer to a global release this might be a game that we do cover here on the channel and at least look into because it has those similar styles to punishing gray raven and to honkai impact third and you guys know i love that arpg style sorry to interrupt the video but i have to give a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video and the sponsor of the channel gamer subs listen if you guys enjoy anime if you guys enjoy waifus if you guys enjoy having energy long-lasting energy that's all organic zero calories zero carbs zero sugars no fillers but gives you that focus that you're looking for then look no further than gamer subs they literally have everything that you could want especially being an anime fan especially being a waifu fan use code further beyond gaming at checkout get 10 percent off everything in the store directly supports the channel so we can do bigger and better things thanks you guys so much for all the support i do truly appreciate it let's get back to the video so a massive shout out to this content creator i'm going to leave their uh, channel in the description down below but i thought it would be a good idea to show some gameplay for you guys so you can get an idea of how aether gazer plays combat wise you can see pretty standard like i mentioned before in terms of the skills you have your basic attack you have your skills which it appears that in this game you have more skills than in the other games that i reference that are common to it like pgr and honkai impact third but what's also unique about this game as well is when you have allies on the team you have those allies running around with you which is pretty cool so if i fast forward here a little bit this is a part in the gameplay that you have the allies and they're out on the field attacking with you once again it's pretty unique to this game because like honkai impact third and pgr your allies are just kind of on the sideline and you qte them in or you switch into them so here in aether gazer these characters are out on the field and i don't believe this is per this specific stage i think this is how it is gameplay wise you can let me know in the comments down below if i'm mistaken i didn't get a chance to play any of the betas like i mentioned before so i didn't get a chance to actually try the game out but if i'm not mistaken they're out on the field with you fighting which is pretty cool pretty unique and we got this husbando here which looks fantastic you can see the unique characters the designs look great so aether gazer looks like a great game that you may want to try out if you're into the arpg genre style and you like the way these games play and it's kind of right up your alley we have some unique characters unique designs this guy's gameplay looks great you can see the basic attack spinning has some flashiness has some combos here that look great i love how he flips the uh i guess you can call it a shield i'm not entirely too sure it's almost like a mix between a claymore and a shield and literally just spinning that thing like effortless <laughs> yeah really nice i like the way it looks i like the way it plays it looks great that character looks great as well i think they just pulled that character too i think that was like an ssr or like the you know highest rarity equivalent and here you go using a different character in the same party or the same team scythe character here so you have different weapons unique weapons as well obviously the scythe not unique but the husbando with the uh, shield slash claymore looking type of weapon is unique so yeah very excited about this game and then once again that unique mechanic of the tandem ultimates that you can i believe pair characters together to get specific ultimates off and they work differently and 
I'm not too sure, but this game looks great. I'm definitely going to give it a try here on the channel. And let me know in the comments down below if this is a game that you've been waiting for, a game that you've been excited for. And uh, hopefully that countdown is to an official release. Here's a bit of the team building aspect that you can see here. They're switching the characters and the UI looks great. It looks clean. Obviously, you can see the games playing clean. And what's really nice is that I believe this global version is fairly close to the CN version. Sometimes when you have a CN version for a game, the global version doesn't come out for like a year or a year and a half a la PGR. So to have the global side coming out now is nice because it's not too far away from the CN, if I'm not mistaken. I believe the CN is not too far ahead. So, you know, you can run into issues when the CN version is too far ahead where you get hype characters that are dropping and then you're stuck on the global side and you know that it's going to be like a year or multiple patches before you can actually, you know, get to enjoy said character that you're excited for that's on the CN version. So to have the two versions relatively close is a benefit in my opinion. So I like the fact that hopefully the global side is coming out here within a month's time so that way it's not too far away from the cn version and they're relatively close and if they are relatively close here's the ui then it gives the global version the opportunity to possibly catch up or get close here are the different char that character looks amazing by the way that character looks incredible so does this one as you can see the character designs are incredible in my opinion they're unique they look great testing out the j jiggle physics <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I, I like them i really do they they did a great job and that's what has me excited right these characters look great the animations look great the combat looks great it's unique in the combat it has its own style so yeah oh my goodness that character looks phenomenal so yeah in the comments down below let me know what you guys think yeah they and and they're they're very different right obviously you have some that look pretty kind of similar but for the most part different spear users sword users shield users oh, but i just wanted to give you guys this information about this countdown give you the opportunity to pre-register for this amazing game and just to let you know that we'll probably be covering it here on the channel going over the characters getting excited about the gameplay and really diving deep into uh, what this game has to offer for the global versions and let me know if you believe this countdown is to the global release because if it is then that means that this game should be releasing on or around the 13th of august so that's right around the corner so super excited about that and it's kind of in line with a bunch of other games dropping at the same time but anyways guys once again just a quick short video to give you this heads up to let you know of this news and i'm excited to see what you guys have to say in the comments down below i'm gonna get on out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody i'll see you in the next one bye guys